So I'm going to just talk a little bit about why the Venerable Master um, named the schools Instilling Goodness and Developing Virtue. So Instilling Goodness, it's the elementary school, and Developing Virtue is the secondary school, and Dr. Verhoeven did touch on it earlier. Um, the Master observed that modern education focuses exclusively on teaching knowledge and skills, and as a result, children are not developing in a holistic way and are often morally and spiritually lost. The master hoped to use basic virtues to protect their spiritual natures by guiding children to be filial to their parents, something that many people these days have forgotten about. Having grown up in the United States, when I first heard about the concept of repaying the parents, the kindness of our parents, I was intrigued and moved. And I believe that many people, um, when they hear about this, um, it is a very novel concept, and yet it makes so much sense. So our elementary school emphasizes filial piety or family reverence, whereas the high school advocates both filial piety or family reverence and also citizenship to the greater community, um, which, as Stacy mentioned, um, is to contribute to the society, to do something that will make a difference in the world. The master stressed that whether in high school or the university, students should study in order to understand the principles of how to be a good person who benefits society, and not study only in order to gain fame and profit. Um, what is more important the Master um, emphasized that the words instilling goodness and developing virtue do not just refer to students, they also refer to the teachers and the staff, because in the process of teaching, we can develop virtue and goodness. When our students misbehave or don't listen to us, then we know that our virtue is insufficient, and maybe our patience too, and we need to cultivate ourselves more. Teaching is actually a great form of spiritual practice and cultivation. And students can be our best teachers because they always point out our flaws and what we need to work on. Um, I have been with the schools for the past 10 or so years and have seen it um, about double in size, roughly. And I'm very um, grateful for the opportunity to work in the schools because it is always fresh and new every day, and also um, we get to uh, be together with these wonderful young people. And I discovered that you know the or the inner nature of everyone, especially young people, is an awakened nature. And so our job is to to rediscover that and to preserve that. Um, I'm going to now introduce. Um, Another teacher in our school who has been um, very passionate about realizing the Venerable Master's vision for um, education. This is Jin Zhushi. Um, she has been a teacher at Developing Virtue School for many years and has also been involved in curriculum planning, curriculum planning both for the schools and the university. She is currently working on her doctorate of education at Columbia University and she has done a lot in the recent years to enhance the curriculum and student life at our schools. Um, so let's welcome Jinker Shih. <laughs> 